me and Kelly cram ourselves into the photo booth. Kelly sits on my lap and ruffles my hair. I grin. For each photo, we try out a different look. Punk, saucy, Fonzie, underwater, in parallel universes, all of these couples exist. I am wearing a t-shirt for a band that no one has heard of, except my mate Alan, who is two years older. We have no exams for five months, and there is still Scotch 17th to look forward to. Outside the shopping mall, Essex is getting on with things. Wiry men are pulled forward by their cigarettes. Mums drag their children home like giant shopping bags. Kelly slips her hand into mine. The height difference makes us a little uncomfortable, but I go with it. I decide that I want a fish cake from Bertie's Fish and Chip Shop, but we go the long way around, so I don't have to walk past Argos. Two nights a week I work there on the refund desk. People haul in their broken TV sets. Who do I see about this? They puff. My colleagues point me out at the back of the shop. The Yeti, they say. Kelly asks me if I want to go bowling with a bunch of her old school friends. Maybe later. The bus drops us back in our village. Kelly's fringe blows out at a right angle from her face. I can hear the trees roaring in the park behind us. Kelly holds up our strip of photos. Which ones do you want, she asks. You keep them, I say. I'm getting ready to break things off with Kelly. There is a reason. It's just not quite there yet. Kelly's breath hangs in the air between us. Look, she says. Snow. Snow.